how interesting do you find the current landscape as a historian of science? Well, one of the things that uh, attract me to history of science is distance. And that's, of course, what's lacking in present-day situations. So, of course, I do have this filter when I'm being confronted with these issues that I do have all these concepts and, and things in the back of my mind. But as a citizen, I don't feel that being a historian of science gives me any special expertise to question the way that things are being done today. The expertise it does give me, if you come back to me in 10 years' time, then I feel I'm in a situation that I do have the tools to give extra insight in what has happened. But I don't feel that it necessarily gives me a, a privileged or a special perspective on how to deal with the present-day situation. It does give me, of course, a set of issues that I feel are relevant, the ones that we've been talking about. So I, I would say, okay, these are the things we need to pay extra attention to. This is what we need to be careful about. So there are a set of things like that. But it's more about what are you, as it were, extra um, sensitive about, not about what we actually believe or, or these kind of things. I, I feel that that's rather disconnected from my perspective as a historian of science.